Good morning, welcome to TWC. I've got a few minutes to introduce to you our brand new range of rugged hand portables, the STP 9000 series. It's a range of three hand portables, starting off with the 9000. We have a full keypad, fully featured, fully functional radio. The 9100 is designed for users who still want many features, but not as fully featured as the STP 9000, and it has a reduced keypad. Backing up the range is the STP 9200. This is meant for users who want basic functionality, but still a high grade and highly robust radio. And these are for emerging markets and those users who perhaps don't want to uh, uh, pay for all the features of the top range product. So it's an entry level product. Now, if we talk about some of the features in detail, the STP 9000 series inherits all the development that we took to market this time last year with the STP 8X. So we call it tough technology. So this product is an IP67 product. So what, do, what does that mean to the actual user? Well, it means it's a submersible product. It also means that it's fully dustproof. And it's it achieved that with or without accessories fitted, with or without covers on the accessory ports. So you can really take this into any environment and it's suitable for that use. And the IP67 capability is across the entire range. On top of that, we've added uh, an extra feature, which is now uh, salt protection. If you take any exposed connector with any voltage on it from any normal radio and expose it to a heavy salt water environment, you'll find that it corrodes. Well, not with the 9000 series. 9000 series uses a, a technology we call connector protector, which protects it in a marine environment. We've also deployed, as well as tough technology, we've deployed some smart technology. We have additional features within the product, so our users typically use our product with, with, with heavy gloves. They're doing something demanding, they're doing something challenging. You can only get a certain amount of tactile feel by pressing the buttons, and the domes give you a click response, and the audio gives you an audio response. And what our users said they wanted is, they, they, they didn't want anything with bigger buttons, they wanted the full features, but what they did want was more, more tactile response. So we developed something we call haptics. Haptics is where the product gives a slight knocking side every time you actually press a button and it gives an excellent feedback for the user. He can feel it through his entire hand when he presses the button, so he knows he's pressed the button. Other smart technology that we put inside is we have the capability in this product to um, display images. Now when you display images, it could be a picture of a missing person or a wanted person. Those photos generally come in some sort of portrait format. We have a landscape display. So taking a leaf out of this smartphone technology, if you actually rotate the device, it will reorientate the device and you can zoom in and see the picture. There's also details that you can attach to that picture so that if somebody wants to find out what's uh, the name of that missing person or perhaps some information on whether they should approach them or whether they should call for backup, all that information can be provided as well. We've also developed the user interface. The user interface now is very reminiscent of modern smartphone technology. There's three styles that you can present to the user. We've got over a million users around the world and they're very, uh, they're very used to our existing user interface. But we did a worldwide tour in 2010 and we surveyed our users and users of our competitors to find out what it was they really wanted. And we've taken all of that information and we've put it within the actual 9000 development. We have three now user interface styles. We have something which is called grid mode, very reminiscent of a modern day smartphone. You can also present it in a vertical list format, or you can present it in a compatibil what we call compatibility mode, so existing users will be perfectly at home in it. And also new users, when they start using the radio, the training costs are absolutely minimised because they have very little to learn. The additional smart technology we've added to the uh, entire range of products is an RFID capability. So it's got a passive RFID tag in there. Now the intention is to help with the logistics of our customers. Many of our customers don't personally issue a radio to a user. They have what's called pool issued radios. So when someone comes on duty, they take the next radio that's available. Now, RFID capability means that you could have a back-end system where you can scan the user's ID, and you can scan the radio, and it will pair them. And then that user goes and takes the next pool-issued vehicle from the fleet of vehicles they have to operate from. You can also scan the radio on the mobile data terminal that's within that car, or that ambulance, and it will pair the user with the radio and with the vehicle. And all these little helps make the logistics of running an emergency service or other customer organization very much easier.